Okay, I want to address um, an issue here. Uh, it was brought up, a guy asked me about it, his name's John, and uh, he's a law dog. Uh, and he's got a problem with his shoulder. That um, he's an older fella, you know, I mean, not older, he's younger than me, young buck. He's only 52. And he's a good sized guy, good sized guy. And his shoulders are failing him. He used to be able to rep 405 on the bench 10 years ago. And over the years, his shoulders can't take it. And he's lucky now if he can rep 225. Uh, what might I be able to recommend? Well, the equine joint liniments that I use. And I got this idea, of course, from the powerlifting guys that I trained with and hung out with. And the equine liniment is kind of like a like a Ben Gay to the nth degree you know Ben Gay is like nothing compared to this stuff this stuff is you know how if you get if you happen to get Ben Gay a little Ben Gay on your nuts it kind of burns like a son of a bitch well it does burn like a son of a bitch like two son of a bitches well this equine liniment it burns like that just wherever you put it you don't want to you're not going to get this shit, you're not going to get on your nuts. It's not going to happen by accident. You're going to make damn sure it doesn't happen. But what you would do with it is you could massage it into whatever the injured area was. And as soon as you massage it in there, you've got to be ready to work out. You've got to be going to work out. You can't just rub it in there and just sit around the house and home on the couch because it's going to irritate you. It burns and um, it gets red. Uh, but it doesn't really... No, no lasting skin irritation from it beyond that you know equine ointment works really 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 well comes in different grades uh different potencies okay so it's, it's inexpensive so I would, you know there's like three different grades you don't want the weakest one you might think you want to but you don't you'll end up not even using that one but you know the middle the mid-grade one and a really powerful one they're the ones you want and you only need like a dime size bit of it and rub that shit in and you'll know, you know, once you get the dose that you want by, by what it feels like. And it will absolutely help. It will absolutely um, hold that inflammation at bay and all this other stuff. Because when it begins to come, become inflamed, you begin to aggravate it even a little bit. As it becomes inflamed, now it's going to rub more. And it becomes more inflamed. Now it's bigger and it rubs more. You understand what I'm saying? So whatever is rubbing whatever that, that isn't in, having a very good time of it, you know, as it becomes inflamed, it's going to rub more. You're going to have more, you know, it's going to impede more on, its, on itself or on its companion, whatever's torn up there, you know, whatever raggedy shit's rubbing. So you don't want to, uh, whether it's a spur or whatever the fuck it is. So you, you, you want to warm up very slowly and you want to keep the area warm and you need a good anti-inflammatory. And I wouldn't use an NSAID because you have to rely on it too many times, too frequently. It does a lot of bad things too. So <clears throat> I like you equine ointment for that and, um, and like really nice and slow long drawn out warming up um, and the other factor is if you just can't bench right now okay then right now if you just shit can that idea all right I can't bench right now but you know take it on like a project you're not saying you'll never bench again the rest of your life you're not saying you'll never bench 400 pounds again if that's what you want to do then it's very realistic but maybe for now stop doing it all together like I've had to do with the slap tear I had to do a whole stop a whole lot of kind of things and find a whole other way to work my chest a whole other way to load that chest up and try to maintain some mass you know and bring everything else back up without putting uh, any more on the shoulder that may uh, that, that may bring on any further injury so you know just get rid of the benching all together right now and uh, it's just an investment, right? And you'll get back to it later. It's not like you're giving it up forever, so don't worry. Don't let it beat you down that you were benching, you know, 400 some pounds before, and now you're benching so little. Fuck it, don't bench at all. But don't worry about that. Switch gears and devise a workout plan that's only going to use machines and cables. Only going to use machines and cables. And find out what angles and from which way you can press and activate your chest that's not going to bother the shoulder. There's probably some range of motion, there's probably some angle, there's probably some way. 
for instance, me, I can sit up and push in a sitting up position, right? Like, a, you know, if I'm sitting vertically, I can push and it doesn't bother the shoulder. I can put tons of weight on a push. No problem. So that's sweet. You know, hammer strength, all that shit, good to go. Now, if I lay down my back horizontally, push over my head, free weights where the stability factor comes in, big problem, dumbbells or barbell. So for me, you know, especially when I first did this thing, um, was just sitting upright, I could push weight. So you just devise an entire workout plan for the shoulder, for the chest or whatever, that avoids anything that puts it in a precarious position. Now the next thing that I think is, is priceless is this product right here. This one. Let me see, will that focus? Or am I moving around too much? Solgar. It's by a company called Solgar. It's called Number 7. Number 7. This, myself and everybody that's tried this, swears that it's like the very best, you know, joint and connective tissue uh, um, support product that's out there that I've ever used. It's really, really good. And I'll tell you who turned me on to this is a uh, guy on our team, um, Gorilla Brother, named Bashard. And he is from uh, Nepal. Nepal. And so he was brought up in a whole different culture where they you know, view medicine uh, a whole different light than we do. They do more things with natural herbs and more of these natural holistic type of remedies that come from plants and um, organic, more organic type of medicine than just some kind of, you know, pharmaceutical, you know, manufactured drug thing. That's not, that's not how they look at medicine that way. They are brought up with a, an entirely different philosophy as far as medicine and the maintenance of the human body and treatment of various ailments. And he is my go-to guy for anything I need to know about this kind of stuff. And this is what he turned me on to because for I don't know how long he's been recommending at least three out of the four main ingredients that are in this. Uh, white willow bark, um, turmeric, um, here's a couple more. I can't see it. It's written too small. Just trust me on this. This is the shit. This is the shit. Okay, number seven by a company called Solgar. S-O-L-G-A-R. And it's called number seven. This joint support formula right here for joints connective tissue. Man, this is hard to beat. I've seen this do a lot of good. Um, I've seen guys that, that couldn't even squat halfway, couldn't run, couldn't jog, none of that. Knee was so bad. And that, you know, nobody's going to believe us. We're going to think it's bullshit or anecdotal or whatever. But used this, and after using this, four or five weeks was able to, full, to squat to depth with no pain. And now, don't even notice anything's wrong with their knee. They don't, they're not even aware of any aggravation, pain, limited range of motion, nothing. So another friend of mine used it for a wrist, a wrist issue. Um, wrist was tearing him up, like tendonitis type of thing. After like a month or two on this, completely gone. And he been suffering and dealing with it for a couple of years. You know, make it a goal. Put a plan together. Strategy. Uh, gorilla approach, right? You have to use tactic, you have to be a tactician, and use strategy, and put together a plan, and put it into effect, carry it out, all right? You get the, get the, old, uh, the number seven by Solgar, all right? Get this on board, um, you know, follow the directions, take it as it's advised on the label, all that's every day, and uh, get the equine liniment, right? And devise a chest workout that has nothing to do with anything that aggravates the shoulder. Find another way. Don't make the shoulder do it. Take it easy on it. Nurture it. Be good to it. It's been good to you all of your life. It's been there for you. Give it a little break. Be, be nice to it. Treat it like it's your friend. And maybe you, it'll respond a little bit better. Okay, so that's that would be my advice. All these things and um, patience and put together a plan. You know, use tactic and, and strategy and put together a plan and get it into effect. 
that'll get you back to doing the things that you'll want to do. Right now, you're doing a rehabilitative type of thing, so try coming at it from that angle. Rather than fighting with it and being at odds with it and working against it, right, which is just prolonging it, and uh, you're not getting any younger like any other, none of us are, and I can tell you right now that that's not the way to go. Um, just submit to it just enough and treat it a little bit sweet, whisper in its ear, you know, pat it, rub on it a little bit, give it a little massage with the horse liniment, you know, treat it nice, whichever shoulder it is, and uh, put together a routine that doesn't do, involve doing anything that really bothers it, and see what you get from that. It's, it's challenging, but you're up for the challenge, right? Find ways to train around it that don't involve it, don't train through it. So that would be my advice there. If I think anything else, I'll email it to you because it's late. I'm old. Half my brain's already gone to sleep, you know, hours ago. All right, that's it for now. Take care. Have an awesome evening and uh, give it a try.